Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Place, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Seven wins in a row. It's no, you know, 110 or whatever, but we're getting there. Ooh, this scares me. We got Libra, so good rate of fire, um, but our stats are we're probably going to suffer in damage, is what I should say. J42H7MT9. I know we have a moon card, so we can get into that cursed room. Um, and and then only take damage on the way out, or sorry, only take damage on the way in, and then get out for for free. But I'd I'd rather not <laughs> until I know how much HP we have. So maybe if we can like pick up a red heart or something like an HP upgrade from the boss, or basically a spirit heart or anything along those lines, I'd be fine with it. I'm also super stoked to have as many uh, consumables as we do, and this tinted rock could solve our problems pretty much right off the bat here. We've also found our boss room very early, which means. It's gonna be kind of an unusual layout for this floor. Obviously, I've made a little bit of a mistake there. All right, so now we've gained at least half of a spirit heart. So we've got to be, by the time we leave this secret room, we'll be at minimum one and a half. Great name for a science fiction movie. I don't know what it is. Minimum one and a half volts or something like that. Consider it anyway. Or maybe we're the minimum minimum one and a half percent of the population required to sustain life. I don't know. Think about it, Hollywood. Get ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? Minimum one and a half. Coming this, let's be honest, that's probably a February movie. That's one where you get like, Aaron Eckhart signs on, but the public never really gets full confidence in it and you end up opening the like, pretty disappointing like five or six million dollar opening weekend. But maybe then it finds like a, um, uh, a, a cult following on Netflix or something like that. You know, it could be like a new predestination or something. Anyway, um, I'm gonna, before we even fight the boss, I'm gonna look for our shop because I would love to uh, maybe be able to buy like a blue candle, red candle or something like that. There's a lot of space bar items that I would prefer over the hourglass. The hourglass admittedly doesn't show up that often, so I'm slightly hesitant to be like, hey, fuck it, let's offload it. But at the same time, it's also not that good. So I feel like we're pretty justified in that. Joker card. There's no reason not to use it on the first floor, except for the unfortunate fact that we don't know how much HP we have. We know we have at least half a Spirit Heart on top of whatever our other HP is. Um, this is a great situation. Let's just buy the Steam Sale, and then I'll buy the other Spirit Heart just to protect us. Pop the Joker card. Pick up Brother Bobby at the very least. This means we have... Um, I'm going to try to get uh, the Hive Mind as well, just in case. Because if I become Guppy or I get the Mulligan or... You know, any spider-based item, I'm, I'm gonna regret not having, uh... Not having picked up Hive Mind when we had the chance, so... That's gonna be more than enough. Fantastic. I don't know, we might have 3 HP, we might have, you know, just the one and a half Spirit Hearts now, but at least we have Deal with the Devil Precedent, and honestly, our, our DPS is pretty solid, pretty much exclusively based on the fact that we... have Libra and decent rate of, or decent, uh, damage. So everything is pretty much balanced, but maybe we started with uh, like a slightly greater stat in one department? I don't know, it, it's weird. Maybe it doesn't divide evenly, I have no idea. Apparently we have Poison Touch as well. I, is this correct? Where did that go? That was my item room item, okay, that makes sense. Mom's Lipstick for a range upgrade. Um, honestly, I think even before we leave, this floor, because of its weird architecture, Kind of has some interesting things for us, so, like, why not check for a second secret room here? And why not, since that obviously was not it, check for second secret rooms below and to the right side here. Had to work out on that last one. We get Petrified Poop. Petrified Poop, is it worth the three bombs we spent? It could be. It's not immediately, but it could be. Um... Especially if maybe we got enough payouts out of these poops. I know it's unlikely because it's a boss room, but um, You can get petrified poop to pay out with a penny from these poops on a boss room. Just didn't happen that time uh, But if we could have gotten above five cents, maybe that could have been good uh, All right, so we had one extra HP on top of that. We still get a guaranteed deal with the devil here So I'm excited about that. I don't really want to do that room right away But I could be persuaded to do it at some point in the future Similarly this curse room not uh, an immediate Priority for me, but something that will be on my to-do list for the future. I'm really glad I, I bought that extra spirit heart I think that ended up being uh, a pretty shrewd decision Obviously we'll shoot all the poop here because this could make the difference between buying an item or not buying an item And even if that item just ends up being a spirit heart or something like that That could make all the difference when it comes to uh, our deal with the devil Oh, thank you petrified poop or just the gods of randomness to begin with 
Much appreciated, and we are almost at the Spirit Heart amount of money already. Probably after this room, all we need is a single penny to drop. We got a key instead. That is worth way more. <laughs> but I can't help but feel slightly disappointed for some reason. How strange. There goes my Spirit Heart, because I stupidly didn't dodge out of the way of a uh, pursuing champion. Yeah, there's no question. We gotta go Book of Shadows here. Um, Book of Shadows is really good. It's almost like our own little unicorn stump again. You know, we can't escape the invincibility items. It's only one room slower on the charge than unicorn stump is, which is ridiculous because it gives us so much more invincibility. Uh, sorry, not unicorn stump, uh, hourglass. Obviously it gives us way more invincibility than hourglass. Um, but uh, that's because hourglass gives us literally no invincibility. But anyway, I digress. Could do that room now. Similarly, we could do our curse room now. Kind of didn't want to pop this yet, but uh, may indeed end up being the right decision as long as we can use it again for our boss fight, depending on who our boss fight ends up being. And you got to admit, I think that with Poison Touch, you know, I'm, I'm relatively pleased with the way that this has worked out. Poison Touch is no, you know, Turdy Touch, no Sacrificial Dagger, no Midas Touch, but at least it gives us, uh, oh, yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. At least it gives us uh, some way to deal damage here. While we're also using the item for defensive purposes. Now I really wish that I had saved it for this room, but oh well. I'm hopeful that this is like a... That is actually... The thought crossed my mind. But I'm not that interested in Tammy's head, but I do love it. It's just worse than Book of uh, Shadows right now, but it could be so much better in the future. This is a tough one. This is a tough one because I love Tammy's head so much. But I'm going to take Book of Shadows for now. At the very least, we've got to get Book of Shadows charged up. So, like, that way we could use it on the boss fight. I'm, I've trapped myself in the corner by not shooting the correct poop. That's okay. Oh, my lord. If there was ever a time when you could say that I used Book of Shadows improperly, this is definitely it. This is absurd. But this should be a great room for us in terms of... Uh, just the amount of money we can get as well. I hate that I'm taking so much stupid damage here, but it's all right. We're at five cents, six, or say seven cents, eight cents, nine, ten. Oh, I was really hoping we'd finish the trifecta there. At the very least, oh, there's eleven, twelve. Enough to probably guarantee us a, uh, a shop item using our bomb. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Wow. There's our trifecta. And Isaac's Jar of Tears is just a worse version of Tammy's head. It is rechargeable, but it's still terrible. And on here, Pandora's Box. Considering we have the Steam Sale, I kind of think that like this Pandora's Box on this floor for the uh, extra consumables that we get is like a nice little grab bag of stuff. Obviously, I'm hoping that maybe we pick up Brimstone or something like this here. I don't know, man. I think I might roll Tammy's head. Like, Book of Book of Shadows is so good, but I have such a huge bias towards offensive items, and obviously Tammy's head does fit the bill there, so... Um, I'm excited. I, I love Tammy's head, and even if we don't get Brimstone or anything like that, I think it's, it's worth it. The question is whether or not it ends up being worth it over top of... Uh, or in, over and above what Book of Shadows already gave us, which was really good defense at a time when we might have needed it, to be honest with you. But uh, definitely, we didn't take damage there because of Tammy's head. Card against humanity. Look, I hate this as much as you do. <laughs> I just want you to know that. But uh, also, at the same time, why not, right? We're going to gain uh, quite a lot of money out of this. It is going to take forever. And I'm not usually the kind of person who's like, Hey, you know, this is funny, so let's do it. Because, you know, we've all got a limited amount of time before we leave this mortal coil. And I don't really relish spending too much of it just clearing this room of poop, but, um... Might as well take advantage, you know, when life gives you lemonade, you should drink the lemonade and say thanks for the lemonade. You shouldn't say, oh, I gotta get back to work, I don't have time to enjoy lemonade in this life! You know, you'll just, uh, you're gonna miss out on a lot of great lemonade that way. Ooh, sweet lemonade, sweet lemonade, ooh, sweet lemonade, get on my horse, I'll take you across the universe! And all the other places, too! Alright. What do we have? I'm gonna go back, maybe shoot some more poop, but uh, I wanted to get a little bit of a move on here because it's possible we might get an item like Death's Touch from our deal with the devil here, which is guaranteed. 
Oh, it worked. Um, that will give us uh, the ability to shoot through the poop a whole hell of a lot faster and maybe save, you know, several seconds off of my life. Thank you for this. I will use another bomb to speed this up because I really do not want to take another hit here. Which is more within the bounds of my control than you would think, but... Alas. Okay, more HP. And Guppy's head. No question, we will at least pick it up. And we have Hive Mind! So now I'm like, shit, maybe we should take Guppy's head, but I'm still gonna stick with Tammy's head. Maybe I'm stupid. We've had like four different uh, options of like second spacebar items to take here. I'll tell you what, you have my word, chat slash commenters, I'll go to 50 cents. We know we're gonna hit 50 cents here. I might as well go for it. I'm, I'm even thinking like maybe I'll just go all the way because there are the occasional spirit heart drops. We might as well take advantage of that, you know, you never know when one of those spirit hearts is gonna be incredibly important for us. Nickel drops and stuff like that. We got a dime right there? That's ridiculous. I think we did make the right decision not taking um, Pandora's box down to the next floor. Not because of the payout that we got here, but because of all the other spacebar items we had to choose from. I think Tammy's head or Guppy's head or Book of Shadows is worth more than, you know, one boss room payout from the next floor. But it depends, I guess, to some extent. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot one more row. I'm gonna shoot this whole row, and then we're gonna go. Because otherwise we could be here for another 10 minutes. I'm not worried about boss rush, I'm just worried about, you know, my own sanity to some greater extent, so... I mean, I am happy with the way this is going, I'm happy we've got so much money. And we're gonna have like 75 cents heading down to the Caves 1. That's more money than we could possibly even need at this point, so that's exciting. But, uh, let's, let's head downwards. Remember, of course, of, of course, remember, of course, um, all stat upgrades that we get are actually all stat upgrades. So the range upgrade that we got is actually not just a range upgrade, it's, a, it's an everything upgrade, just to a very, very minor level. So we probably don't want to take pills until we get like PhD or Virgo, just so we know um, that we're not taking like basically an all stats down. Which could be pretty much catastrophic right now. Would also love to get a Joker card or a red chest that teleports us to a deal with the devil here. I should have gone to the uh, curse room on the last floor, especially now that we have a guppy item. That's a sloppy play on my part. Attack flight. Lovely. Okay, so we, we have kind of like an obvious play here. An obvious yet annoying play of shooting all the poop to get pennies and then picking up these pennies with flat penny to give us as many keys as possible. Unfortunately, for, you know, the people who are going to want me to do that, I'm not going to commit to it for a long time, but... We might as well give it a, a chance here. We already have nine keys is my thing, so it's not like an enormous thing one way or the other, but we might as well give it a, a chance to pay out some extra keys. It's gonna cost me a little time, but it's not that relevant right now. Very happy to have attack fly, even if it is supremely close to my body and I'm a little scared as a result. Now, if we can only choose one to roll with, at this point we're taking um, flat penny. In fact, I think I may just go back Ah, I shouldn't have done it. I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but in the moment I was like, I got to do it. Um, I think I'm just going to take Flat Penny right now. Because, like, what do I care about getting... I mean, it gives me more pennies to get the pennies first, but we're going to... Flat Penny will pay out with enough for us to feel okay about this, I think. Um, humbling Bundle, no doubt. This pill. Hematomesis, good to know. Red Candle... Has a, it has a lower range... Than, uh, than Tammy's head. Tammy's head can be really good. It can also be pretty bad. Uh, red candle is red candle, so it's a bit of a safer item. I wouldn't dispute that. Um, I think it's it, because of its safety, it's a little bit less fun. You know, it, it lacks some of those high level synergies, but it, it provides like a base level of damage that gives you the capabilities to win a run. So I, I hate saying no to it, but I'm going to say no to it. Um, Pestilence. Okay, I like it. This gives us an orbital. That was very bad damage. I would very much like to not take any more, but I would also like to kill you with my orbital, so it's a bit of a tough call, as you can see. I think we owe it to ourselves to explore a little bit more. Find a tinted rock or something like this. Uh, more golden chests, a cursed room that we can take advantage of, because HP is just not looking that great right now. It's not looking that bad, but it's not looking that great either. Should see what this card is, because you never know if we can just teleport out of that room, and we can. Uh, I think it is worth it to teleport out. We'll just see what we get out of it first. 
Lots of keys is basically going to be the take home, I think, here. And our other card, Emperor. Much better, so, you know what? Oh my god, I got hit while trying to mash the button to use the card. That makes me angry, because I, I feel like I should not have taken the damage there. You may disagree. Starting to think that maybe Book of Shadows wasn't as bad of a pickup as it uh, could have been. Emperor card. Uh, interesting. <laughs> Emperor card is awesome. I kind of want to pop it immediately on the next floor just to, you know, fight the boss. Don't like this very much. Um, we gotta we gotta play it a little safer here. Just thinking just to fight the boss and then like maybe get nine lives right off the bat. Abaddon, Dark Judas, etc., etc. Not Krampus. Oh come on, come on with this. Little, little silly, I think. Maybe we'll get a Hanged Man card or something like that. That would help me out a great deal. Well, we could also use our Emperor card to go to the Cursed Room and then not die, which would be pretty cool as well. So there's all sorts of, there's all sorts of cool non-lethal things we can do here. Just good old-fashioned family fun. Well, this is going to be uh, the end of this floor. I don't know why I said it was such gravitas. The end of this floor. I said it was such gravitas because we're in kind of a tricky spot. Um, that's Is that a good enough answer for you, Mom? Here's what scares me. Going to uh, this room and not getting an item and immediately fighting enemies. But we'll just Emperor card right out if that's the case. Shit. Well, we're going to Emperor card out anyway unless they drop something. Which they didn't. So we'll Emperor... Pick up our HP. Get the fuck out of town, I guess, is, is, the, is the message that the game is sending me right now. So, down we go. What's wrong, Northern? I thought you were keeping it dangerous. Okay, well, we got uh, the Cancer Trinket, which I do think beats Flat Penny when we have 10 keys. Um, yeah, it's not scary at all. I'm not scared. They can't reach me from here, surely. Gonna keep firing and hope for a spirit heart payout. They, those happen occasionally, right? Ooh, okay. Oh, Tinted Rock. I'm so glad I saved this bomb and didn't look for a second secret room on the last level. This gives us a chance. Whoa, what the heck is going on here? My phone just buzzed. I know it's not professional to be checking that right now, but I'm like, what the heck is this? My phone never buzzes. Nobody ever gets in contact with me. Okay. It's my mom! Hi, mom! Okay. Little scared of this room. All sorts of different... things that can happen here. Does anyone else have phone anxiety? I mean, I've talked about it on streams before, but... If... If somebody came out to me on a street... On any street, apparently, and said, Hey, you fucker, I got something to say to you. That would make me ten times less anxious than what I feel when my phone rings. Because the way I see it is like, phone ringing only means bad news. Someone is dead, or someone's like, I don't know, in jail or something like that, and shit's all fucked. Or somebody wants money, I guess that's basically the way it comes down to it. And I'm not saying like, my family's asking for money, but telemarketers and stuff like that. So, that's like phone anxiety for me. I don't know if, if anybody else experiences that, but I like, I'm like, I don't even know why I have a cell phone, it's just a constant source of stress for me. Whenever it rings, I'm like, the world is ending. And then I pick it up, and I'm like, oh, it's actually fine. There's, like, no concern whatsoever, apparently. But in, in the moment that the phone rings, my world is sundered. It's the worst. Which is why I checked it immediately when it buzzed, because I was like, oh, shit, you know? Who died? Turns out nobody died. Just my mom saying, I love you. Thanks a lot, mom. Your love has provoked an anxious reaction in me. Let's throw my game off in the middle of work here. I'm, I'm joking, of course. I love my mother. And I appreciate her words of uh, encouragement. Great stuff. Okay. Um, not counterfeit penny. Counterfeit penny. Sweet. Just what I wanted. Uh, we'll uh, just keep white knuckling it until we get to our boss fight here. Wait as long as possible. And then we pop it. Okay. That actually worked. Battery? No battery. Not that it would have mattered that much there, but it would have been better than nothing, so. That was my main reasoning for wanting the battery there. This is a good floor for us. If we can just get 
Okay, deal with the devil. Deal with the devil comes up. We already have precedent. We have one guppy item. We have the perfect amount of HP to take nine lives. That's like a, a gimme here. This is our classic nine lives. -er. Don't want this, uh, like, yet another space bar item. Not interested. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. I'm so happy I took it. Okay. Who dares wins? If you have not been taking pills, you probably still would have a great chance of winning this run, but you would have missed out on that uh, beauty right there. So, I am uh, feeling pretty good on a self-esteem level now. More bombs. This is great. Uh, and a greed fight. It's pretty much worthless. Like, I wish we didn't have to do it because there's nothing we can get here that really benefits me. I guess I'm happy for the consumables, but financially we were already fine and uh, we already have Steam Sale too, so... There's nothing nothing amazing coming out of that one. This is big, though. This Gertie fight makes me so happy I have uh, attack flies so I can speed up the whole process. And, you know, we've got another orbital holding it down as well. They're not going to be in sync too often, and we're going to have to move to avoid damage fairly frequently, but it's gone very well. Next pass is a big one. Oh, work it back, work it back, and we did it. Sweet. Halo is good. Again, it's it's a true all stats upgrade considering we have Libra. Goathead uh, and the Spirit Hearts. First off, greatest band of the 60s, hands down. But also uh, a pretty good setup here for us moving forward. We do have Deal with the Devil precedent, so the red chests don't bother me that much, especially because we got items out of it. So, great stuff. Um, I left a card behind here. What was it? Lovers. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> Not my favorite card, but we're building the winning run here. Uh, this is looking pretty like a strong candidate to take us to win eight, I think. If that had been a guppy item, it would have been even better, but that's okay. I probably could have found a secret room as well, but I'm not about that, you know? That's not my style. Due diligence? What am I, an insurance salesman? Okay. Okay. We have fought that room already. So we will just, I guess, look for a special room of sorts. Uh, we probably do have enough bombs to sneak this back here. It's not easy. It'll probably take three or four, and then the key on top of it. It was, like, super not worth it. Um, now comes the time if we're like, well, do we want to try to, like, take an extra risk to recover our investment? And we will try, and it worked out. But um, surely that's suboptimal. That was, like, some, you know carnival bullshit right there that I was not interested in. But, non-stop deals with the devil for the future. This is a very exciting time to be alive. Second secret room. It just feels like it has to be here. Bible tract, not interested. So many space bar items, so many trinkets. Shouldn't complain because the, you know, law of large numbers has given us one of each that we quite like. Curse of the Labyrinth. This is no good. Because it compromises our uh, our number of deals with the devil. So this is a subpar. Um, I'm not going to try to put a positive spin on it. It's just mathematically not fantastic. So um, I'm a little disappointed with the fact that this worked out the way it did. But there's not much we can do about it. You know, every Isaac run carries uh, certain inequities, either positive or negative, that we have to work through if we're going to swing a win. This is just another one. Another one. Another one. Okay, well, I should not be hemorrhaging damage to the level that I am here. But I also should not be quoting DJ Khaled on a regular basis. Spider Bite is decent enough. Decent enough for what? Decent enough for me to poop on! Classic 2004 era jokes there, courtesy of youtube.com slash northernline.com. Uh, there we go. I'm... I'm feeling okay, even in spite of all the dumb damage I've taken. You know, it only takes... run. Oh... F what? Oh! He shot me and knocked me out of the room! It, it doesn't take too much for us to get back to the amount of HP we had when we came down here. For example, perhaps one, uh, one guppy item in the form of nine lives would do it, and I'd feel great about it. But uh, we can't rely on this. We can only rely on ourselves in this world right now. I didn't uh, apologize if I brought you down there. I didn't mean to, but uh, not uh, thrilled right now with the performance that I've been offering, and I'm, I'm taking it out on the, the world today. Also, if you live in, in the world today, you be hearing the slang that the Wu-Tang say, and I'll 
avoid the rest of the lyrics for a variety of reasons, but I think I got my point across. Well, this is a real problem, because this fight is not going to give us nine lives, and it only has a 50% chance to give me something I want in general, and we still have to leave the curse room. It gave me the item I did not want, uh, you know, oh, there's a lot of bus, b b <laughs> there's a lot of buses in the city, all right? What's up with all these buses? It's like, c come on, what are you, trying to save the environment or something? Fuck off. All right. That was, that was me, my new character, which is stand-up comedian who doesn't have jokes. He instead just says things that are, like, really indicative of his ignorant worldview. Um, I don't think that character's going anywhere. Uh, yeah, I took Bob's brain. You want to fight about it? It was like, uh, what the? You got a problem with Bob's brain? Why don't you come fight me, jerk hole? Okay, again, you know, there's a lot of... Ironically, I've got to write some jokes for this jokeless character to have. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. Oh, man. I got to admit that I am very tempted to take left hand to try to swing this guppy gambit. Might seem ridiculous. Northern Line, you already have the cancer trinket. It's one of the best trinkets in the game. Barnone, you are correct. However, uh, unfortunately... We, uh, like, really, really need to swing a super huge damage shift here. Uh, pretty much the best way to do that is to get around our Libra, like, rebalancing all stats, and just get flies. And keep in mind, we got Hive Mind on our very first floor, so, uh, our flies would be not only, like, absent the, the problem of, uh, our, our shit being rebalanced constantly, but also, uh, I'm just trying to sneak, like, Bob's brain in here. It's not as easy as you might think. Um, but maybe it's exactly as difficult as you think it is, because, you know, you've probably played The Binding of Isaac before, and there we go. We fucked it up a little. Uh, Mr. Mega's okay, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that, that's one way that we could handle this situation. Is it a good way? I, I think it is, but I think I've got to stick with the Cancer Trinket and just kind of hope that, uh, we get red chests or curse rooms or... You know, guppy items naturally from our other deal with the devil that we haven't gone to yet, and then just, you know, rely on that, unfortunately. Uh, I, I do think that's the right way to play, so. It scares me, but we do have several building blocks of a winning run in front of us here, you know? We've got actually pretty good damage, especially considering that we've got, you know, what is basically the Curse of Libra right now. Um... Perfect. I did want to blow that up to see if we can get something from it, and the sun card is a great haul. Uh, does it beat the lovers? It technically gives us less hearts now, but, uh, yes. <laughs> the answer to your question is yes. No spirit heart. Disappointing. Two sun cards. Range up. That's an all stats. Uh, might as well take a bomb, and then let's just donate as much as the game will let us. So two sun cards is extremely valuable. I'm gonna blow this guy up, see if we get, like, a steam sail or something. I wouldn't recommend it. Why not take the piggy bank? Maybe we get Bloody Penny later and this ends up being really good for a floor or something. Interesting. Key judgment? Key judgment you you bring me? At this point in my adult life, you bring me key judgment? Are you crazy? I just walked over here. Alright, so we do want our second sun card. I just figured, you know, we'd, we'd try this out. Maybe we'd get lucky and get uh, the blood bag. We could still kind of go for it. I'm a little bit skeptical of our chances. Please just lose Bob's brain. Thank you. Uh, second secret room. Let's do this. Pardon me? Why are you closed? I want the shop. Well, we're actually very lucky in that we have so many fail safes, I guess. Like... I'm not, I'm not actually, like, I'm feeling pretty good about this run. The, the principal thing that is so good about it is just the fact that we have a lot of ways out of disaster here. And this is yet another one right here. Tons of money plus a uh, fortune teller. Well, it already gave us one spirit heart, so as far as I'm concerned, we're doing pretty well there. Um, that's all it gave us, but for, like, 12 cents, that's a pretty smoking deal as far as I'm concerned right now. So we got the adversary first. Great opportunity for us to get rid of Bob's brain before things get truly really dangerous. We will also probably blow up all of these, even though the economy on them is not that good. Get rid of Bob's brain, please. Holy shit, it worked. But we're also going to get it back in just a second here. Okay, HP plus tears up, which means uh, 
This might actually not do anything for us now that I think about it. Because it's a shot speed down, but it tears up, and we have Libra. So maybe it does nothing. And if it does nothing, well, fuck. But if it does something, we got it. It, it, it at the very least, gave us HP. I'm thinking we use um, Tammy's head like that. Trying to just watch out for the foot, because Tammy's head with the foot... Sorry, um, Bob's brain with the foot can cause some unexpected uh, explosions right next to us. We've already encountered our deal with the devil here, so we know what we're getting into there, which is... Nothing, basically. <laughs> oh, we're so close. And we're done. We'll take this. We don't want this, but we might as well look at it. Okay, we looked at it. Now it's down to the next floor. This should be interesting. Please, no XL floor. Oh, that's so fantastic. <laughs> that is, uh, that's exactly what we needed to have some hope. Of this, not, like, we have hope of winning this run. Two sun cards, adequate HP. No, I took it a step below decent for once. Um, that gives us ways out, which is great. But the big thing here is the, the goat head deal with the devil that we're just gonna hope you know, works out for us, because it has to. If it doesn't, we are going to be pretty much on the razor's edge for the rest of this run. This is also really good. Not just for the cards, but the red hearts. Magician. We'll just use. Temperance. Interesting. Hanged Man. Interesting. Two of Spades. We'll just use. Okay, I think we pop Temperance right here. The reason I think we do that is... Uh, we have, like, a place where we can use all our red hearts. We're not going to not use Temperance. We could also get to a half-heart interval, which might be a good place for us to be. really like to not uh, blow myself up with Bob's brain anymore. But, honestly, I kind of lost that uh, as something to complain about when I actively picked up Bob's brain. Like, I could have avoided it. Chose not to. Secret room. Not a secret room, but a, a great opportunity to play uh, this Blood Bank. Still want both sun cards. It's possible we might end up needing both sun cards on the same room. I certainly hope not, but uh, could happen. There we go. Anytime we can get rid of Bob's brain, I'm super happy to have it. It's only when it happens to completely fuck me that I get a little salty about it. Oh, yeah, that's not unexpected. Blow him up, blow him up. Oh, oh, we lived. Joker. Okay, so I think we have to get rid of one sun card for the Joker. So why don't we use one sun card, like, right here? And not hit anything, because that would be, like, way too easy. No Tinted Rock? Tinted Rock. Okay, good. Two Spirit Hearts is lovely. Why did I get rid of one sun card? Because we got... I wanted to carry the Joker to the Cathedral, basically. One more chance at, at finishing off the whole Guppy trilogy here. Um, I do want to check and see if maybe there's more... Balls of Steel pills, maybe a Magic Mush. Oh, Balls of Steel pills are not going to show up because we have uh, Liberty Cap. Emperor card is also great, but we got to keep one Sun card. And I think that the Death card is um, not not valuable at all, basically. Okay, so we got Joker's Sun. Unfortunately, I think this is where we need to be. Unless we had to use our Joker card on this floor, which we won't because we have... We have Goat Head. Are you seeing that? Like, I'm planning the Bob's brain shots. I'm just missing out on one key factor. Like, that time was a spider walked right in front of me as I shot. That's the spider's prerogative, man. I'm not mad about the spider. I'm mad at my own uh, inability to to plan for the spider walking out in front of us. And also, maybe a little bit, the gods of randomness. Or at least standard deviation for, for allowing that to happen. That eternal heart feels good. HP is... Uh, you know, one of the stats that does not auto-balance, so... Happy to have it. If it will have me. No Tinted Rock on this room. Great opportunity for us to use our Orbital, and for us to use Bob's Brain. I would rather not lose the Spirit Hearts. The Spirit Heart is all-knowing. The Spirit Heart is all-valuable. The Spirit Heart is... All gone! How beautiful. Now. Nine lives. Guppy item. Oh my god. Little Steven? Little Steven is not what I need at this point in my life. This is. We will take this. We will take this. It will kill us. We'll come back with a lot more damage. And then we'll pick up our eternal heart. Good stuff. 
scary stuff, but good stuff. Um, we're, we're still gonna have three HP. Um, I kind of feel like we should fight our mini boss to see if it's like gluttony. But I'm also conscious of the fact that the more rooms I do, the more likely I am to uh, to take damage. But the more likely we are to find tinted rocks, you know, they, everything that's a factor of time like that has some interesting permutations associated with it. We did get rid of Bob's brain. Oh, great stuff. We have we have really good damage now. I guess we have really good all stats now as a result. Sloth is not what I was hoping for, but that doesn't mean he can't give us a I don't know a hero font or something. He gives us another Joker card, which is unfortunately completely worthless. But uh, were it not completely worthless, I'd be excited to have it. But we did get a hero font card. Well worth the investment there. I don't want to think about how many runs. Uh, Oh, now we can use the Emperor card because we don't have um, any health for the Sun to help us out with. And I think we use the Emperor card right away. My reasoning for that is, uh, is interesting. The faster we get to a deal with the Devil, the faster that deal with the Devil can help us out, I guess is what I'm trying to get at there. I just want to see if maybe there's a Tinted Rock. There's not, so we will go. <laughs> Okay, just kill. Oh man, I really needed or wanted Tammy's head to kill one of those turrets. Great, great. Okay, here we go. Now we need to not let Mom's heart ever disappear again. Never enemies spawning. Bob's brain, this is your time. Bob's brain, thank you. Doing well. Very difficult array of shots to stop there. Okay. Bob's brain. Great stuff. One hit is not bad. We head down to the next floor. This is, uh, it's becoming a very tactical, very kind of chippy game here. I'm gonna pop the Joker card. That is Ghost Baby. That is not what we needed. Hopefully this is, uh, another Emperor or maybe a Hierophant card. It's a Hermit card. I'm gonna pop it. Now, we'll, you know, we don't know what we skipped. Positive or ah, positive or negative. It's an interesting one, that's for sure. Um, always keeping it uh, keeping it fresh and keeping it very dangerous here. Stay away! Oh, you idiot! Why is the explosion on Bob's brain so big? Is it like a Mr. Mega thing that's backfiring on me? I really feel like I. I'm taking more hits than I would normally expect to take from Bob's brain. Like, at a distance that I would normally consider fairly safe. No more sights. Good, no more sights. A scythe is a guy who thinks he's fly. He's also known as a buster. Don't remember the rest of the words, but they go like this. Oh yeah, so... Land it, land it, land it, land it, land it. Oh, my hero! That was also pretty good. These guys, um, the, the the bomb flies, are going to be the worst, man. They're going to be some of the most dangerous enemies for us. This curse room, oh, it would mean so much to me, like a birthday or a pretty view if that was a secret room. It was not, though. Good. One down is, uh, it, it's a help, man. You know, every enemy you kill makes the room, like, an order of magnitude easier to just dodge. Don't throw it. Even though we've hemorrhaged a lot of HP uh, via Bob's brain, believe you me, I'm not happy about this. I still feel like I've played relatively well on this run. Um, not as well as I could have. And playing a little bit better would have left me in a much, much better position. But uh, I think we've played okay. I don't think we've, I don't think we've done wrong by the audience here. Gotta look for secret rooms. Uh, the, like one black heart, you never know if that's gonna make all the difference here. Oh, what if, what if that's our secret room? One of these days, man. Never mind, none of these days. <laughs> uh, didn't really uh, mean to do that. That one will probably, uh, that one will, I'll probably chalk that up as my bad, to be honest with you. Okay, oh my god, his shots are so huge, they're so fast, we gotta um, wait for the, the spider bite slow to take effect, and that's where we are. Relatively safe, but also... Oh! Scared shitless! Scared shitless! Did I say safe? I meant scared shitless. 
Get away from me, you beams of death! Ah, I walked into it! Oh, I'm so mad. Well, it was a fun run. I'm not gonna blame that one on Book of Shadows. I feel like an idiot, though. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, though, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Fuck.